going up against Italy, they did put up that big lead to start off as Schultz, his ground ball squirts past Brown at second and goes all the way to right field. And Schultz is on first. And struck out seven times as the check over to first. And Schultz is back in. Decent clip, striking out 48 times. It's the throw over to first, and he got him. Schultz is picked off at first. Suspedes with the great throw. Had to play by the French there. 2-1 pitch, and that's rake to right, and that's going to fall for a one-bounce single. Catcher Andy Paz setting up outside, and that's lined into center, and that falls for another single. It's also driven in six runs. 0-1 pitch outside, throw over to second, and Lutz is back in safely. He got hit by that one, took that one off the left tricep. 2-0 pitch. And that's drilled to left. That's going very, very deep. But the center fielder catches it right on top. Usually in the outfield, if it's um, between the center fielder and the left fielder, the center fielder is usually the one who takes precedent. Now he's going to run over to second. That's the first time that he's done that in this tournament, and he's called out. Pickoff attempt at first, and then the throw over to second. Six, seven, and eight, eight hitters. And Eric Brank takes one off the left arm. 1-2 count, and Cardoso dribbles that to short. Throw over to second in time for one. Throw to first, and that sports past the first baseman. Paz sets up a little bit outside, and that's hit over to right field, and that falls for a single. Held the Bundesliga finals here. For the past three years, and Potofsky goes down swinging. 3-1 pitch, and that is taken below the knees, so the bases are juiced for Team Germany. 3-2 pitch, runners go, and that's grounded. Fair down the left field line, just a hair fair, but fair is fair is fair. One run comes across the plate, two runs come across the plate, and three runs come across the plate as Schultz comes all the way home from first. And Goering, with a bases clearing double, brings three runs home. On Bolts' is single, and that's just cranked. That is going to go. He just watches it fly, fly, fly away. What a moonshot from Donald Lutz bringing Simon Goering home. In fact, I couldn't even see it when it left his bat. It just went poof all the way behind the fence in right. And Germany, with two swings of the bat, put five across the plate. And they lead this game five to nothing. Yeah, that, went, that one was crushed. That one went over the trees in, in right field. The right fielder didn't even move. He just looked up and, and stayed where he was. That could have fallen into the Rhine River, but instead it's Max Bolt who finds the gap between left and center field. 3-1 pitch incoming. And that's inside for ball four. So we're going back through the order again. Brink was hit by a pitch to get this inning underway. Bolt at second, Amon at first. Brink at the plate. And here comes the one, two, and Brank lines that one just over Brown into shallow right field, and that's going to bring home a run. Here comes Bolt all the way from second, and Brank gives the Germans another run, and the lead is now six to nothing. Even with the new pitcher, still nothing doing, and that's taken deep to center. Could it go? Yes, it will! Germany going off. Teeing off again, another home run. We had a two-run home run from Donald Lutz earlier, and now Marco Cardoso with the three-run home run to put Germany up nine to nothing. 
So Perez's 2-1 is lifted to center. Will that fall? Yes, it will. Everything going Germany's way. Schmidt with his second hit, not just of the game, but of the inning. This is the 13th plate appearance and make it 14 after Kotowski was hit by the first pitch of the at-bat. If he wants to get out of this jam with enough bleeding, and that's lifted into center, and that time Jose Paula takes care of that. As you get to see us, I'm in the Orioles hat. Hello, everybody. And Ole is in the Bonn Capitals hat, the uh, Capitals home field right here. Here comes the 2-1, and that's raked to left, and that's going to fall for a base hit. Well, that's a way to get things started. 2-2 two -two pitch, and that's taken the opposite way, and that's going to fall for a base hit. After Germany cruised to nine runs, and that's a hit by pitch. Great three up, three down inning. In a Back in the first inning, but that's lit line to left and past Eric Brank. That brings home one run. Here comes another run to the plate. And an RBI double, two RBI double for Jacques Boucheron. 2-2 two -two pitch and swing and a miss. But still two runners on for France as that's grounded to the second base side. A run will score. 1-2 pitch to Brown, and he swings through strike three. Relief pitcher Perez gave up two runs, both of them earned in one-third inning of play. Puyol checks over at first and delivers the 0-2. That stays in play, and is that going to fall? Yes, it will. Falls right in front of Dagno, and everybody's safe. The first baseman, he ropes that to left field and that's going to drive in a run. Here comes Goering from second, around third, all the way home. The throw is not in time and off target. So Boltz brings home Germany's 10th run of the game and we haven't even gotten a single out in the top of the third inning. And this at bat. 3-2 pitch, and that's lifted in the air. That's going to stay in the infield. Infield fly rule in effect, and Brown gets underneath. 2-1 pitch, and Brank gets some contact on that. But the third baseman over there tags third base. Throw over to first is not in time. One ball and one strike on Cardoso. Right fielder getting underneath it. That had a little bit of trouble. A few more guys on base. And a lot more hits. And that could do it as Paz gets all of that spicy meatball. That 1-0 pitch becomes a solo home run. And the French dugout showing their applause, showing their support and appreciation as Andy Paz comes around, takes his time around the bases getting that solo home run that'll do swings through the outside off-speed pitch it's been a tough week for pitchers uh, they've been called almost every other day as Doug Noll gets into the 1-0 pitch it's the 1-1 is taken to the left side and that's going to be a base hit here comes the 0-2 pitch that is taken on the inside part of this plate and the umpire rings him up. And that is lined into left smoked, if you will, all the way out to the left fielder Boucheron. Go over to second. 1-2, and that's popped up. That's going to leave the infield, going to early shallow left, and no one can get underneath of it. Three guys close, but none of them close enough to make the play. So they're in this position as that is a pitch that goes into the dirt and behind. 
1-1 pitch, and that's going to be grounded, and that's going to stay in the infield. Short to second to first. And only one out as Goering just beat out the throw, and he brings home a run. Here it comes, and Lutz gets into that. Is that going to fall? It will, and it falls right in front of Paula, who dove for it, and it goes right over his head. Coach sending the runner from first all the way home. Simon Goering is the 13th run for Germany, and we are not through four innings of play. A single from Amon would do nicely for this German team as that would bring the slaughter rule into effect. And that's not going to be necessary as Soma comes home on the wild pitch. Germany's bats on fire with 14 runs, but Amon swings through the final strike. Abek looking to get Germany to go down one, two, three, and he can't do it as Schmidt singles for the fourth time today. 3-2 pitch on the way, and Lefebvre takes that right into Brenk's glove. Winner moves to the fifth place game tomorrow. Schmidt gets underneath of that. That's going to stay in fair territory and in the infield. Payoff pitch from Marquez, and that misses low. So Envy is on base. And Dagno gets underneath of that, taken to left field, sending the fielder all the way back to the warning track, but Schultz was there. 1-1 one, one the count, and that's popped up behind home plate. Paz has enough room. He was listed as number 16, but he'll take 14, and he'll take that single the opposite way. Nice rip, just right in the gap so now full count and, and has a walk Amon is the only player without a hit for team Germany as he fouls that one to the third base side third baseman miss queuing it's grounded that stays in the infield nice diving grab by the first baseman toss over to the pitcher who came over to cover first in time And swing and a miss. He went fishing on the outside changeup. And he reached for it and he struck out. Let's take another look at that outside pitch. Get out of the sun. Caught looking at that nice pitch on the outside part of the plate. He was wearing number 12. You're right, that was Ziegler. My mistake as Cardoso. Gets on base with a single, no mistake about that. In the starting lineup, didn't get a hit as Katowski takes a close ball four. 3-2 pitch for Schultz, and the runners go, and Schultz swings and misses. At third base for Germany. And Duforest gets into the first pitch he sees. Very, very deep. And Brown gets his first hit as he singles up the middle. As that pitch is lined, and that's going to stay fair. Yes, it will. That's Lefebvre with the great hit out to right. Here comes Tebens 2-1, and that's 2-0 pitch, and that's taken to the outfield. Right fielder. Amon underneath of that, and the throw back into the infield keeps Brown at second. So France down to their final out. 0-1 pitch, and that's lifted to the left side. That's going to drift into foul territory, and the shortstop, Schmidt, gets over there in time for the out, and that is the final out of the game. Germany takes the win 14-4.